Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, I am gonna be doing something I had not done before. I'm gonna be adding a fan system into this helmet and some padding. Now, I usually just use some scrap foam in the shop, but I found some interesting little pads on Amazon and uh, we're gonna try using those. And again, this fan system. Now, if you have ever worn a, you know, a helmet like this, and especially once we get this visor on, uh, you know, you're breathing in and out and it causes things to fog up. Uh, I'm hoping in the fan placement, and actually it does work because I've already tested it, with the fan placement, it really helps by keeping that visor really clear of fog so you can see really, really well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, if you are interested in getting this helmet uh, in its raw form, you can head over to Villainous Prop Shop where you can find that. And those links are in the description below. If you're wondering where I got the fans and the padding and pretty much everything that I used on this build, again, description below, or head over to my website, 3dprintedprops.com, and sign up to get your free Red Hood helmet, and then head over to Projects, where you'll find a list of everything that I used. Those are affiliate links. If you click on them, they do uh, give me a couple dollars here and there, which I use to buy more stuff to make these videos, which I guess makes sense. So let's get going. Let's get behind the fake wall and start cooling down. So what I like about these pads are they, they attach with Velcro. So it's pretty, pretty sticky adhesive. You can push the Velcro in and then you just pop the piece on. So if you need to move it or shift it a little bit within that space in the Velcro, you can. And you can take the Velcro on and off. It's of course gonna diminish the adhesive, but I think in the long run, what you can end up doing is just gluing it on or just using regular Velcro. So what I'm doing is in between you see me put these pads in. I'm trying it on to make sure that it's fitting well. And it is, it's doing really well. And I'm just, you know, again, putting it on, taking it off, putting these pads on. They're sticking fairly well. I have found that the next day, a couple of them popped off. So I went ahead and glued them on. But you can see the adhesive comes off pretty easy because then I, I had to change that a little bit. And there we go. That is uh, the system there. I, I love it. Now for fans, I picked up these fans along with, like with those pads on Amazon, and I'm just sort of thinking where I'm gonna place them. I want them blowing towards the visor so that when it gets steamed up in there, because if you ever wore a helmet like this, especially with a visor or any kind of eyes, uh, it can get kind of steamy. And then I wanna put a second one in that blows towards the back to maybe get, if possible at all, get some air circulation. So now I'm going to heat up my uh, little soldering iron. I love this thing. Best investment I made. Great soldering iron. Uh, and I'm going to start cutting. So I'm cutting uh, two fans separate and then the main wire. And then I need a little bit of extra wire because, again, we're going to be moving things around. We've got some shrink wrap so that uh, we don't have any exposed wires. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually soldering the one fan right to the major, you know, the main power supply, and then adding a little offshoot off of it, that extra wire. And I'm gonna test it just to make sure that it's working. And this is a little battery that I had, it worked fine. And now I'm uh, soldering and using the shrink wrap to attach that, you know, extension wire onto the other fan. So it's a pretty easy job. I forgot to put the shrink wrap on, so I'm using some electrical tape. So now we test it and it powers up just fine. So again, it's a pretty simple job to do. You know, you attach the one fan to the main power cable along with a, an extension wire, and then you just attach that to the other fan. Now I'm going to use some Velcro to just put these fans on in case I want to move them around. You can uh, hot glue them, but this is going to work better for me because if I need to change things, I can. So one, I point towards the visor to help, and I tested this out. It actually works really well. I'm not getting it all steamed up and everything. I'm quite happy with it. Now this cable is way too long, so I'm cutting it off, stripping it, bringing the wires back, and then just re-soldering on the you know, the little connector part, and then giving it one piece of electrical tape just to cover it up. Now here's a little battery that I had laying around. You can get other thinner batteries. There's some links in the description below, but super happy with how this came out so far. Adding a little glue in here to hold some wires down, and it is ready to go. And as you can see, 
everything fits really well. I don't have any wobble. And I am super, super happy with how this thing fits. Uh, the fans are not uh, loud. I mean, there, there's a little bit of noise, but nothing that I can't hear over in a con. Uh, and, you know, it feels cooler. I feel, you know, air circulating in here. So again, I'm really, really super happy with how this thing turned out. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Have a great day.